Hello everyone and thanks for tuning into the Financial Investor channel. My name is Brent and today we're going to be talking about the M1 Finance Referral Program and how you and your friend, viewer, family member can earn $10 into your individual account. So, of course, if you are brand new to my channel, I do make stock market, real estate related videos weekly, so consider subscribing for future videos. So, let's go ahead and get into the video today. So, here I am over logged into my M1 Finance Portfolio. I currently have the individual account pulled up. Now, I I've, you know, I've made multiple videos covering M1 Finance. I go over it as far as uh, why I believe it's the best broker in 2018 for brand new investors. I have a video covering you know, why I believe that. You know, Zero dollar trades, partial shares, retirement accounts, and a little bit more. Top right corner if you guys would like to check that video out. So I began using M1 Finance back in January 2018. I made this account for my wife. I have my Roth IRA over on Barrow Edge. She had, she didn't have a Roth IRA at the time. So, you know, considering all the options out there, there was Merrill Edge and M1 Finance because Robinhood does not have retirement accounts. So I created, I looked at M1 Finance. They had recently removed the fee that they had on the account. So Acorn, Stash, they all have that $1 fee. And if you're only investing 100 bucks, that's 1% of your portfolio removed every single month. And here, I've been using uh, M1 Finance for about, we're in um, June coming up. So right around five months now. So that would be all of the gains gone that I've made during this entire time due to the market fluctuation. So anyways, when you, when you start your account over on M1 Finance, you can start different accounts on there. You need to have an individual account. So if there's the individual account, there's the retirement account, and there's the SEP account, which is the Simplified Employee Pension. Basically, if you're a uh, if you're working like a single member LLC you run your own business you could do the SCP if you have if you're making some sort of income you can have your IRA Roth IRA and you can always open up you know same thing with your individual account as long as you're making some sort of income you can open up your ind your individual account so in order to get referrals you do need to open up your individual account and fund it with a hundred dollars once you have your hundred dollars in there you can then begin referring friends, family, viewers, subscribers, people on the forums that are looking for brokers out there that have no fees, zero dollar trades, retirement accounts, partial shares, Roth IRAs. You know, they give you a whole magnitude of benefits. I've been on here for the last six months now with my wife and we haven't had to pay any sort of fees. I've, we've made over 60 bucks in dividends and it's been great. So. Actually, I have a whole video on covering how you guys can create your very own ETF. So if you find an ETF online that you really like, there was the Essential 40. I, I covered a video on that, how I took the Essential 40, which is going to be an ETF coming up in the future, of the Essential 40 stocks, and I turned it into a my own ETF using M1 Finance, where I don't actually have to pay any sort of expense ratio. I have all the 40 stocks in there. I can add, I can set where the actual percentages are, the target percentages are, and I can adjust all of that. Check that video out, top right corner, I'll have that linked. So once you've made your individual account and you click on your uh, icon here, you're gonna get the option to refer and earn. Once you've done that, you're gonna be able to give $10 and get $10. So invite your friends, invite your family, invite your viewers, subscribers, anybody that really wants to be set up with a broker that allows you to create a retirement account. I think that was the best, um, the biggest motivational thing, I guess. I don't know how to say it, but being able to start a Roth IRA with only $500. So I created my wife's Roth IRA very quickly. I have a video covering choosing your investment account, and we, we get, went over you know, creating our Roth IRA. If you guys would like to check that video out, top right corner as well, I have that one linked. I've made quite a bit of videos over on M1 Finance, as you can tell. So I do have a whole playlist on it. So if you guys would like, check out that playlist. I have all sorts of information in there. And if there's anything missing that you guys would like to see, go ahead and let me know. So anyways, back to this. So if you 
are able to invite one of your friends, coworkers, and um, give them your link. If they log on and they create their own individual account, fund it with just ten dollars, they will get ten dollars which that's a 10% gain off your initial $100. So at that point, if you also want to create your Roth IRA and fund it with $500, which is the minimum required for the Roth IRA, once you funded your individual account with that $100 and you get that $100, you can then transfer that $110 into your Roth IRA after you've done that bonus. But if you want to keep your individual account active, I, I believe you have to have at least $100 in there. And then you can also begin inviting your friends, coworkers, and such. And as they move into there, then you're going to get $10. So here you can see that I've successfully referred four people to M1 Finance. Everyone that I've talked to that I've referred over on Facebook, I've had people message me back and forth about the benefits. And they kind of asked me a couple questions on my on my experience with the platform and, you know, how how are trades done and such we've kind of gone back and forth and they got the ten dollars and we kind of verified that and they're really enjoying the platform because they're able to individually they may they may only have five hundred dollars but they're able to buy google they're able to buy amazon they're able to buy apple they're able to buy facebook all four of the stocks together would be over twenty five hundred dollars but with only $500 and being able to buy partial shares, they're able to invest $500 partially into each of their favorite stocks. And then they're able to continue kind of growing, building equity, building dividends, getting some sort of a return on their actual investments that they want to pick. Over on Robinhood, when you get paid out dividends, you may only get $10, $15 in dividends. You are forced to have to pick something that's at that minimum dollar amount or you need to add more money into your portfolio. So a lot of people, what they do, if they have $10, $15 sitting in their Robinhood portfolio, they buy Ford because Ford is that $12 stock or they go out there and they pick some $5, um, $5 stock. I can't think of what their uh, penny stocks. They pick a penny stock that's $5 and under because all they have is some change sitting in their account and they would really love to buy that extra share of Apple, but they just can't. So... And this example here in my activity, if I go here, you're going to see that I initially deposited $100 on February 10th. I then made a referral here of $10 on March 13th. I had another referral on March 19th. I had another referral on April 10th. And I had another referral about 10 days ago. So each time I was able to refer a new person onto M1 Finance because they saw that the benefits outweighed any sort of, you know, you know, risk and such, Bo uh, both both of us were able to get $10. And then this $10 went into the account. $10 is a triggering threshold that M1 Finance needs in order to make a purchase. So then it went out there and with only $10, I was able to purchase 0 0.03977 share <laughs> of the S&P 500. So this stock is $251.40, but with only $10, I was able to buy a third of it. <laughs> uh, not even a third of it. It's like, what, 1 33rd of a share. So very interesting there. So that is M1 Finance, how you guys are able to get referrals over on M1 Finance, why that threshold of $10 is much better. You know, if you refer someone on, uh, on Robinhood, you're going to get Sprint. You're going to get uh, Chesapeake Energy. You're going to get, what else do they throw at you? Z Zynga. Uh, those are a couple of the stocks that I've received on there. And those are like a couple of dollars. But this is $10 that automatically triggers a trade and whatever stocks that you're currently investing in your individual account. Of course, I like to invest in the S&P 500. And I thought it was a good uh, opportunity at that time. If you take a look here, when I bought the S&P 500 back on February 8th. February 8th was right back here. It was during this dip here. I bought it at, you know, at $235.71. That was at a dip. That's at the furthest market price that you can buy this thing. That's why I was able to make some sort of return. And it's been averaging in. It's actually been averaging up because it's since my initial buying point, all 
the ten dollar investments have been actually have been uh, bought at a higher price so it doesn't really matter this is just sort of for fun individual account I'm able to share my referral benefit both a uh, someone brand new to a broker and benefit myself which is a win 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 you know win win <laughs> opportunity so that is it for this video and of course if you did like the video remember to like comment and subscribe if you haven't checked out my m1 finance playlist i'll have a link somewhere around here or some sort of videos where you guys can check out the the playlist there and that is basically it as a friendly disclaimer i'm not a financial advisor or tax professional the information provided is my opinion for entertainment and fun this is not investment advice this is just me as a financial investor myself, trying to help others make their money work for them, getting rid of those fees, getting rid of those managed accounts. This is you taking an opportunity, investing in your future, open up, opening up your either your individual account, Roth IRA account, and begin building up your future. So that's it. Thanks for tuning in. I will see you next time. Have a great day. Bye.